Hey guys, JJ here, back with another incredibly ambitious total conversion mod for Resident Evil 2. Today I have Resident Evil Revisited. This takes place after the outbreak in the Arclay Mansion. In this you play as Trent, he's sent to collect data from the Umbrella Laboratory, but he runs into trouble along the way. This mod features totally new areas, characters, enemies, environments, it's like a completely new game. If you guys would like to download this for yourselves, I'll leave a link down below in the description. So with that being said, here's Resident Evil Revisited. Raccoon City, home of the pharmaceutical giant Umbrella. A company at the forefront of medical advancements to benefit mankind. Although the truth, for the benefit of one man, the alien founder, Oswell E. Spencer. Secret experiments and genetic manipulation all performed under this veil. The staff, all under the illusion that they were safe. However, their blind luck was about to run out. I like the music. That's a good intro. Active facility, call in nest. Switch to secure channel 4. There has been a possible contagion leak affecting the staff who have been isolated. Monitor and observe the effects of those exposed. And there's the... Arclade Nest. We've underestimated the site contamination. All staff have been exposed. Initial infected have become violent. A recommendation. Sidewide purge and cleanup. Acknowledged. Proceed with off-site data backup and security. Nesta Arkley, we have not received your server data. Provide us at Riv. It's too late. <laughs> the site has been compromised. Send someone to get that research data. I have preparations to make. This could be a good opportunity for a field test. Must be Albert Wesker. We got our main character Trent in route. Uh oh. It's Misty. Hit her. Oh. Should have hit her. Really cool setup. I like it. Oh, my head. It feels like I've been hit by a truck. What was that thing? <sighs> Forget it. I need to move. Well, it looks like I'm in the right place at least. Where did that report say go? Okay, we got mission briefing. The Arclay facility has gone dark. Little is known about its status. Due to the recent murders, too many eyes are on the forest area for a helicopter infiltration to be possible. As such, you will be required to utilize the older mine's entrance via the old motel. Your cover is a ghast. Remember to check into the A Day in Raccoon Motel. Use the code phrase, the weather is raining more than ever with the motel manager Mickey, who should then lead you to the entrance, your mission. To access the Arclay facility via the Motel Personnel Passage, assess and report the status of the Arclay facility, initiate the off-site data recovery protocols, or procure a copy of said data by any other means. If the site is contaminated, retrieve any assets that are not compromised or infected. Good luck with your mission, WU. The mission briefing has been filed. Oh man, like this I need is to cool. find Mickey. All right, let's go find. The hotel manager. Oh man, okay. So completely new areas here. Love that. Pop the trunk. Oh, that's awesome. The case is jammed. I need to find a way to get it open. Need a crowbar or something? The gas pumps are ancient and all rusted. Doesn't anyone maintain these? Good thing you didn't hit them, dude. Cool. We get to go to the motel. 
I believe this motel was scrapped from a uh, Resident Evil Outbreak, a day in Raccoon Motel. The cash register and service counter, not much here. I love these backgrounds. A selection of fishing supplies. Never would have uh, guessed there's a fishing spot nearby. Oh, that's probably where uh, the note from Kendo in the N64 version of Resident Evil 2 meet in the next... Uh, uh, what was it? Green something, but meet me there for fishing. Several fridge cabinets stocked with various drinks and beverages. So he's got a lot of attention to detail here. You can click on a lot of things and they actually give you some context. Shelves filled with miscellaneous items. I like the music too, it's really good. There's a heavy chain holding the hatch shut. Okay. Notes by the staff are written on the board. Something about Serpent of the South. I wonder where we gotta push this. Let's see what's down here. There it is, there's a face there. It's, an, it's a Necronomicon. far this way. It's a, okay, so it's an emblem, it looks like. Will you take the comedy crest? What a mess. Oh, we got a diary over here. Check that out. Tony's diary. 16th April. This charade of being a mechanic at a gas station is getting to me. I wouldn't be so bad if Bill would pull his weight and actually rotate the stock. Passers-by are starting to notice that some of the goods have expired. There isn't much real work here, but still, Bill, get off your sorry ass and rotate the stock. Sometimes making yourself look busy is worse than being busy. 20th of May. Had a family had a family come in today with a car trouble. They had a late teen daughter with them, a pretty redhead. I recommend that they avoid the motel, both to preserve the motel's true cover and I don't like how... Mickey eyes up the ladies, like presenting a slab of meat uh, to a ravenous wolf. They left their car with me, but decided to take a walk along the forest trails. May as well make a bit of cash on the side since I'm a mechanic. It's something to do, and at least I won't have to pretend to be busy for a while. 21st of May. The family never came back for their car. Maybe they got alternate transport home? No skin off my nose. I still get paid for my time. Come to think of it, neither I or Bill have had any many regulars needing the back room. I wonder if something has happened? Ooh. Alright, we need to find a key or a crowbar. Let's see what I got. Okay, so I got the mask, pistol, aid spray. Nope. Old flyer. Jay's bar. Comedy night. Cool. There they are. Gotta have the bolt cutters in Resident Evil. It's a staple to the series now. Don't need the gun right now. Okay. Oh. Just cutting up artwork. Oh, is that a secret? What is it? It is a secret. Hole in the wall. Ooh. Empty boxes right here. Nothing within them. Check the TV. Can't get over there. Where am I stuck? There we go. The 
lock is damaged. It appears to be a lockpick stuck inside. So up, up, down, down. Oof. Up, up, down, down. Right. Left. Right. Yeah. Damn it. Yes! This bed is a mess, and it's disarray. Uh, what is that smell? Well, not open. I love this environment, and the music just goes perfectly to it. It feels like a legit Capcom game that would have came out in the 90s. This is this is what I love. I want more of this. This is this is great. Okay, nothing else in here. All right, let's head out of here. That must be the door. What else we got back here? Ooh, something's in there. All right, let's head back in. Cut that chain. Uh, it plays really well too. There's like no bugs or glitches, at least from what I've experienced so far. Really? There we go. Let's go down. Let's see what's down here. What are you looking at? Oh god. What the hell is that? A cat? Get my gun out. Oh, it's a bird. Flip the lever. Nothing happened. That thing won't. Is it? Oh shit. Those are bats. Holy shit. Oh god. Now, you, now can I get my pistol out? You sure, bud? Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go use the crowbar. That's a cool enemy. I think the only, uh,. Resident Evil game that I could think of that had bats, and I could be wrong, it was Code Veronica. Right, let's get in here. Tap action button to pry. Oh, that's cool, dude. Mash it. Got it. I like that little interactive challenge. There's nothing else here. So if I walk, I'm good. We didn't go this way. The gate key. It's got a goat head on it. That's a sick key. Playing cards are scattered over the table. Nothing of interest. It's locked. The case seems to be solid for us to open. No. Oh. I want that. Is that a Ruger? All right, we got the key. Let's head out of here. If I walk, I should be okay. As long as I don't step on him, like I just did. to the motel. I'm excited to see this. Let's 
gonna look around a little bit before we go in. An ice box inside there is nothing. No head or teddy bear. Okay, that's good. It's locked. There's the main entrance. Talk with the manager. You must be Mickey. The weather's raining more than ever. Oh, you must be an umbrella guest. Was it you making all that racket? There hasn't been many of you around lately. I don't trust this guy. Well, I'm afraid I won't be staying. We have a situation. I need access to the facility. Well, if you're in such a hurry, I suggest you take the key behind the counter and get started. If you happen into the bar, don't mind Rusty, Burke, and Clyde. They seem to be a bit under the weather. Look, I understand the protocol, but this is a time-sensitive matter. Is there any scenario in which we skip the formalities and you just tell me where to go from here? <laughs> you know just as well as any of us that this isn't how this works, Mr. Trent. <sighs> Might as well get started, I guess. Okay. That guy's super shady. Mickey's diary. Can't read people's diaries, it's rude. 6th of, 6th of January, a new year and a new job. I thought I wouldn't be hired after those incidences. Uh, the places seemed a little dilapidated, but hey, a job is a job and I am in charge. And no one is watching like with the last job. 10th of February, another load of umbrella staff booking rooms. I know the company owns a building and land, but you wouldn't think we would get other guests. This doesn't help me expand my collection. 4th of April. Not much really happens here. The umbrella guests rarely ask for anything or make any complaints. The rooms are also barely used, so do not require much work to maintain. I rarely capture anything good. This dude's collecting people. He's a serial killer. 2nd of May. I was cleaning room 1 on the other day and a stone fell out of the frame. I don't know if it has any value. For safekeeping, I placed it in the safe along with my videotapes. Perks of running a motel. 30th of May, really? Months with no issues, and out of the blue, one of those umbrella goons trashed their room and disappeared into the night? Joke's on them. I have their details on record, so they'll be in charge to repair room 5. Also, a little extra for my trouble. At least it gave me an excuse to throw away that ugly art. I only wish we didn't share the same dumpster as the bar. 1st of June, the regulars of the bar seem out of sorts. I hope whatever they have isn't contagious. Oof. There's a lot to unpack there. At Bernathy. Let's save. An old typewriter. If I had an ink ribbon, I could save my progress. Let's grab that key. Room one. It's a really good setup for a Resident Evil game too. A lot of rooms to explore. Okay, so that probably isn't working in the demo. But we will have an item box, which is convenient. Okay. Let's go hit room one. So I want to see this down here. Bunch of advertising flyers. One advertiser's theme. Turtle's Paradise. What is this? It's the bar. We are open. Ooh. It don't sound so good. We you take the tragedy crest. Oh, this place looks like shit, dude. Oh. Can you not? He's just staring into the distance. <laughs> T 
Dino Crisis. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's, that's awesome. Let's go check back here. Oh! Doesn't seem to be aware of your presence. This is cool, man. There's a lot of things going on. I don't even care. Okay, I'm gonna have to kill them later. Oh, there's a diary there. Jean's notebook. December 28th, a few of those umbrella guys came in today. I feel sorry for them. Company making them work over the holidays and staying in a crummy motel. Well, think of it, I'm also working. I did hear them talking about G and T something, though none of them had any ordered any gin and tonic. January 16th. Ugh, I really hate putting those decorations up into the crawl space. It's such a pain. Whoever built this place didn't even think to install a proper ladder. That rope one isn't up to code. I'm sure it will be the death of me. April 20th, that fucking ladder snapped on me today. Luckily, I wasn't carrying anything or far off the ground. Uh, for the time being, I have just left that ladder up there. Though, why does that hatch require two bull skulls mounted to a wall to open? I've heard of a security, but why does a crawl space need it? May 29th, maintenance still hasn't been out to fix the crawl space ladder. Never mind that, business has been slow. Only the regulars have been around. Hope things pick up soon. Okay, let's head out of here. That's the end of this route. End of that route. Empty bottles. Okay. Probably go up there, but we gotta head to room one. Probably gonna be all the way over here. What are we gonna find? When lightning strikes, the serpent shall fall. Hmm. Got a note. Why can't I ever remember the safe code? Can't leave it written down laying around. That would be unsafe. I must remember that rooms two, three, four, five, six will paint a picture. Two, three, four, five, six. Paint a picture. Oh, okay. So we gotta find the safe code in the other rooms. Hmm. Nothing of real use. Yet. When lightning strikes, strike it. Okay. So these rooms, I'm gonna check. I didn't check all of them. I don't believe. But I'm gonna have to go upstairs. It's locked from the inside. It's locked. Okay. So let's head upstairs. I love that door.
Can I grab my gun now? No. Where are you? I'm here to save you. <gasps> no. There's no pulse. What the hell happened? She has a note in her hand. Today, all your dreams come true. Sorry, Alice. dollface. Guess this wasn't for you. That's a cool reference to the, uh... To the Resident Evil live-action movies. But I have a feeling she's gonna get up. Who you gonna call? Ghostbusters. All the episode of Lords and Ladies. No thanks. Uh-oh. Oh! And she's up! Hold it. I don't know how you're standing. Stop right where you are. Dude. Stop. I won't ask again. Holy shit. There we go. Stay down. like something can be placed here. We got our first encounter with a zombie. I need to find another way down. Maybe I can get down with a rope. Maybe she has something where she was? No, just a blood stain. All right, let's continue searching. Told you to get back. You didn't listen. What the hell? How did she even... Could the contamination really have made it this far already? Oh. Yep. That's why they're all sick. Everything's locked. We're missing something. Oh! Oh god! Here they come! That was intense. It was really loud. Okay, she's dead. Now we got access. I see you peeking. Old lady zombie. I love the new zombies again. This that's cool. Man, there's a lot of attention that went into creating this. It's like a completely different game. I I I in the frame. Oh, okay. So we gotta start remembering that code. I I I. We gotta figure out what room this is. So three. I should probably write these down. More diary. Old woman's diary. 25th of May. Checked in today. The manager seemed very disinterested in helping me. The place isn't well maintained either. Though when that blonde guest needed assistance, he was all over her to help. Oh, to be young and pretty. Oh well. I'll make the most of my vacation time. 31st of May. This was supposed to be my little getaway to the wilderness. Two weeks in and the fresh air and taking in nature. The doctor said it would be good for my... Uh, sciatica but those worrisome reports of hikers going missing has me in a tizzy i'm too scared to go far from the motel heaven forbid i get attacked by wolves or even a bear at least i'm safe in this room maybe i should head home first of june i was thinking of heading home today 
But out of nowhere, this pounding headache started. My skin also feels itchy yet clammy at the same time, and I can't keep warm. Those men at the bar also seemed unwell. That's where I must have caught it. I'm going to take some medicine and hope I can sleep it off. Okay, that was room two, so the first one to the safe is three. These are all locked. Oh! Okay, so it looks like I may have missed something in here. Aha! Seems like something could be placed here. Let's try... No? That one. Perfect. Progress. This game's got a lot of really good... For, for being a demo, it's got a lot of good puzzles and environments to it. There are two buttons here. Left? I don't know what that did. Check the file. There we go. So we want them to be angled in. Okay. Ah, that took way longer than it probably should have, but I eventually got it. Just cut that out. And we get a key. Master key. Perfect. Line that up. Looks like the motel's washer and old clothes machine. I haven't seen one of those in years. What else we got in here? Oh, wow. That's a lot. Looks like an item right there. A hair dryer. Perfect. Throw it in a bathtub. Blow dryer. Okay, I gotta learn the rest of the combination to get in there. I love these environments. They're just so well done. I'm super excited for this, this full game. Okay, so that's gotta be for one of the rooms. Let's check over here real quick. It's probably locked. Oh, master key, so I can get into all of them now. Oh, this room. Looking rough. And now back to Night <laughs> of the Living yeah. Dead. Love this on movie. Raccoon Public Access. Johnny. That might be copyrighted. I'm just gonna But that 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 is a great movie. That everybody should watch, at least one point in their lives. The remake was really good too. 90s remake. Oh god! Jesus Christ, I s What are you doing? That was creepy. I'd almost rather it be a zombie than the math, uh, the guy, the manager there just peeking at me. Weirdo. Oops, wrong button. Waste of ammo. Hopefully I scared him off. Oh God! It's a boss. What the hell's wrong with this zombie? Don't die. Get some goods for me? Hell yeah, he does. Cabinet key. Perfect. Okay, I don't think the cabinet. 
Not in here. Let's continue on. It's got some good jump scares. Wasn't expecting that. Check this door down here. Um, that's not a door. Now we gotta go find a cabinet and somewhere to use the blow dryer. I don't know if I want to go back in the bar just yet. I'm sure they're all zombies by now. That one I already unlocked. Let's check this one out. What did I say? Noise of late. Nam neuf. Mirrors are more fun that than television. Mirrors are more fun than television. If you're going fucking insane. Lots of window. This story fits so well, too, within the lore. Alright, am I missing anything here? Another motel piece of art. This one is depicted of a beach. It's titled, I will be waiting. Did someone make a typo? I will. Where's the typo? Oh, I, I. Okay, so... Okay, so that's two. So it goes three, two. Go check the other one. What is this? There is a bull skull stuck to the wall. It appears to be attached with some sort of magnet. I need to find a way to power it down before I can take it. Another piece of motel art. This one depicts a tall meso with a lone man. Tracing the frame, there is a six etched into it. Huh, I swear there was a gray suited man. I killed him. So we got uh, three, two, six. There is a note here. Seems to be a complaint. Room four has little closet space thanks to that decoration hanging in there. It also seems to be stuck, though when I drop my curling iron in the toilet the decoration fell giving me quite a shock the rest is just a list of more t issues okay so let's uh let's drop this freaking in there hell yeah give me it now where the hell am i gonna use that Okay, we got a bull skull. We got a lot of things. But I don't know what to do with all the things. I wonder where that cabinet is. Whoa! Jesus, fuck. That was a good jump scare. I gotta go back in there now. A cabinet in here I'm missing. Oh, I can use it now. That's odd. I didn't think I could earlier. Let's drop that. Drop that. Drop that. Looks good. Okay. So I guess I didn't check it good enough. Yeah, you aren't sick, you're just turning into a zombie. You got some stuff for me? Nope. Let's go check back in here and see what they've been up to. What did I say? Seems like something. Well, let's do it. Good. 
Now let's go get that. I don't think I really need to look around in here. There we go. Last door I haven't found yet. Okay, I didn't even see that door earlier. Ooh. Oh, I'm getting Silent Hill 2 vibes. Nobody cleans here. A letter. Oh, there's the other one. Okay, so I did find that there's another hanging spot in the bathroom. Umbrella employee instructions. You cover, uh, your cover is a guest, remember, to check into a day in Raccoon Motel. Once unpacked, head to the convenience store. Request a pack of safe sprint from the store clerk should respond that they may have it in the latest shipment. They should then lead you to the back of the store and then to the southern entryway too. The rest of the note is missing. Okay, so we gotta get back there eventually. I hear a zombie. Get! Oh no, feet zombies. The dreaded feet zombies, the worst kind of zombie. Oh no, he's back up, we're good. Wait a minute. Why does he look familiar? Oh, wasting too much ammo. No, I don't think that was. For so, for a second, I thought that was the uh, manager. Okay, let's get out of here. Back to the bar. Slamming doors everywhere I go. I feel like I might need some more ammo later. Uh oh. Okay. Whoa. What the hell is that? Will you take the rope ladder? Yes. Back up to the second floor. Way more to this than I was expecting. I love it. This is so freaking good. See what's over here now. Just keeps unraveling. Oh god. Dogs. Oh yeah, I did see the dog house earlier. That's attention to detail. Holy shit. He's fine. He's just eating. Good doggy. He's hungry. Usually if you walk around them, they're fine for the most part. <sighs> Whoa! <sighs> Don't go for my toes. <sighs> Run low. Give you a lot of health. I'm a little worried. Oh, this must be the other side of the bar. I feel like there's gotta be something else over here. Am I missing something? No, he doesn't have anything either. Interesting. Is this just an empty room? An aid spray? Am 
I'm gonna put food in it and I killed the dog. I'm missing something, definitely. Well, let's see if that that piece of wood that's over there, let's see if that's enough to get into this safe. If it is, then I guess I didn't miss anything. Oh god, now I gotta re-remember. Okay. Holy shit. Okay, so it randomizes. It wasn't too bad once I went back through and to each room, but that's a good puzzle. I really like that. Okay, so now we got Olgorite. I'm pretty sure that goes down in the cave. All right, let's head back. Oh no, that was a coin. We gotta figure out where this Olgorite goes. There we go. And I got that. All right, now we head down to the cave. Oh, here they come. Hillbilly zombie. Hell yeah. It's like Forrest's sister. She's got the same hair. And I'm out. Hopefully I don't need to kill you. Oh, they're everywhere now. No ammo. No knife. Oh, I do have a knife. So we're still good. Damn bats. Power's on. Imagine fucking dying right here out of everything. God, goddamn bats do me in. He started something. Where the hell was that over here? Oh, Jesus! What the hell? What kind of creature was that? We're going up. To the entrance. Just keeps going and going, man. I love this. This is so fucking cool. So we're here. Let's check that door first. Okay. Oh. Oh, Jesus! I'm dead. <laughs> that was awesome. To be continued. I can't wait.
All right, guys, so there you have it, Resident Evil Revisited. I thought this was absolutely fantastic, and I can't wait for more. But what did you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, and consider subscribing for more Resident Evil fan games. The Residents of Evil is a Patreon-supported channel and also supported by our YouTube members. So if you'd like to become a member and unlock access to custom badges, emojis, and exclusive live streams, click that Join button down below. I have the Duke here at the Residents of Evil to tell you a little about our sponsor, G Fuel. Do you have need of anything for the road ahead? The Residence of Evil has expanded its services. Perhaps you're in need of a little pick-me-up. I recommend the G-Fuel. You can even get a fair discount if you use the code ROE upon purchase. And as always, we thank you for your patronage, stranger. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and we hope to see you back at the Residence of Evil.